This is the place, the little hostel that we saw at the beginning, the Sabai Bangkok. This is the one where they have their dorms, Edmund dorms, their private rooms, okay? So it's literally just down and round the corner, and these are the ones where they're a thousand bar a night, okay? So very good. Now I'll give you some information. Just down there, that's the first place I ever stayed at. See? Just, that woke me up. <laughs> Nearly dropped my camera then. Okay, so Mr. Vegetable Man walking down the road. So we're going to carry on walking down here. We're going to go past Old Bangkok. And these are the style, for me, the style of hostels that we are going to be featuring more and more. We're going to call them boutique hostels, we're going to call them hip hostels, but we're going to call them great value good quality hostels um, you know your old style hostels which are really not very nice then we are not going to be staying there okay so hello how hello. are you doing hello i'm doing very well yeah just uh, ordered some nice isan food good man i like your bike do you like that is it good yeah yeah it's better than food yeah, I like the look of them. They look good. Okay. More, uh, more balance. That was the guy who's uh, one of the owners from Porky's uh, Backpackers uh, Travelers. Uh, I like the travel agent uh, tour company down there. Uh, really friendly and fantastic place. Um, so I'll be giving anyone who watches this who's interested, you can either go in there yourself or Get in touch with me, okay? Uh, sometimes it's a bit scary when you go somewhere and you don't know the people, but I can show you them and chat to them and you'll feel well at ease and relaxed, okay? Right, now, Samson 360 Hostel. So this place, again, it sort of looks okay. Um, I love the teak style building. Looks very, very nice. So. Let's go and get some information about here. I'm sort of guessing the price is going to be about the same. Okay, so we're at uh, Samsung 360 Hostel. And this gives you an idea of one of the dorms. You see, you've got air conditioning in. The bed's plenty big enough. And you've got your own private locker here. Is that um, the bathroom there? Sure. Yeah, okay, so we've got showers in there. And the price of this one is 250, 250 baht, okay? So that's what you're getting. But the main thing, really clean, very nice, good place. And this is the eight bed door, dorm. So as you get less beds, the prices go up a little bit. Yeah. So this is two, Three. 300, yeah? 280. 280, yeah? 280 baht for here. That's really good. So same thing, you've got your bed, You've got your locker and you've got nice new air conditioning too, okay? And we don't turn it off, like the remote is inside so you can turn it on. Turn ah, it on. And like I've stayed in some places like they turn, turn it off, off at 10. <laughs> yeah, like turn off by 9, 10 then yeah. turn it on again at yeah. 9. Okay, alright, that's cool. And you see here, we're shower. based in a, in a wooden uh, tea house and there's the showers and toilets in here. Oh, very nice, very cool. It's good, it's great. Okay, see, you get a bit of Thai culture and heritage in here too. So we've got a nice little lobby bit down here. And then in here, we've got a little place in here, which is the kitchen, where you can make yourself some food and coffee, microwave, fridge. Yeah, it's great, really, really good. So I'll spend a couple of days here and very comfy, very nice. Okay, so, Sam Sen 360 Hostel. It's the one I just showed you around, okay? We videoed some of the dorms in there. Very, very nice. Uh, so start around about 260 to going up to just over 300. Depends on how many beds in the dorm. Um, but yeah, very clean, very nice. Uh, beautiful outside here. It's got a really nice little place. Um, let me just show you, okay? You've got a really nice uh, 
parasol come umbrella there to shade you from the sunshine. Um, you've got some nice little seats there. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. Yeah, old style teak building. And that's where one of the dorms is up there. And we have got air conditioning inside, but no exterior things making loads of noise. Uh, very, very nice. So I like that place. Again, got lots of atmosphere and feel. So Samsung 360 hostel. Very, very good. Okay. So back on our little road now this is a great area around here by the way okay um, I'm very biased because when I first came here I sort of fell in love with this little part of Bangkok and the area and I've always been uh, coming back here on a very regular basis because um, there's so much to, to do around here but you get very many different styles you know you go to you go from very nice teak buildings and then you get these old style uh, Chinese shop houses um, but it's, it's full of atmosphere it really is full of local colour so this is our little road we go for a walk down here so we're we'll going to find some more nice little hostels for you okay of the same style that we're looking at now if I miss any out I apologise to any of the owners here but I'll find you again, I'll come back again. There's some that I won't go in, okay? For my, my view on things. If I look at it and I don't like the look of it, I'm not going to go in there, okay? As simple as that, really. So if it's looking good, we go there. If it doesn't look good, we don't go there. But if it looks interesting, even if it looks a bit old, like that building there to me is really interesting. It's not hostile, but it just looks very, very interesting, okay? So I'm not put off by many things. Okay, so we're just gonna head down here, so I'll just switch this off for a moment. Like this area here, it's a full, full of atmosphere, this little set of crossroads here. It's a real little hub of activity. Um, this place is very, very interesting. Uh, it's a, a fairly new uh, hostel that's opened up here. Um, so they look a little bit busy at the moment checking people out. So we're going to come back there later. Um, and on the corners here as well, we've got some nice little places to eat here. And you'll see this place here. This one, it's a, it's a good place. Bangkok Hostel Cafe, very nice. You can tell it's um, doing quite well because there's a couple of people outside, there's a couple of people waiting to check in. And when you get there, then that's doing okay. You know, so we've got Boutique Hostel and Cafe. Now, I think this is the same owner as that very first place that we went to where nobody could speak English. In fact, it is. It's the same owner. You can tell Ban Bangkok Hostel and Cafe, right? So, I don't know whether this is the hostel and they've got rooms up there or whether this is the cafe and they send you down there. Maybe, eh? Maybe. But we'll check that out in a little while. So, we'll go and have a look and see. So, we're just going to have a little walk down here to the end of the street. Um, so we'll, we'll check out what else is uh, going to happen down here. Now, some places look a little bit... Um, if, well, put it this way. If you can't find your way into somewhere, and it says hostel and massage. I'm walking away from that, okay? <laughs> it might be very nice, I don't know. But I can't get in. I can't find my way in there. If I can't find my way in there, I'm not gonna go there. This place here is really nice. Uh, Ricky's Restaurant. It's always busy. And again, it's always busy, it should be good. Um, now, when you're here, you're getting a lot of uh, foreigners in this place. Normally, I look for Thai people, but in here, 
you're looking at coffee and you're looking at sandwiches. It's not the most favorite thing for a lot of Thai people, so we're going to make an exception to the rule for that. And I want to show you this, because this is really interesting too. The old wooden style buildings here, these old teak buildings, are really, really nice. Very cool. So you've got a real bit of history around here. I spoke to you before about bike tours. Uh, you know, so this place here, I'm going to have a little chat to them and get some information about their bike tours around Bangkok. Um, there's a few companies doing bike tours around Bangkok, two or three of them, uh, that I know of. And this one's been here for a, a, quite a time. So we'll come here and we'll get some more information from these, okay? Okay, so inside the shop here now, and they've got lots and lots of bikes here. Uh, great information about tours and trips, not only around uh, Bangkok, but around Thailand. And you can hire bikes like these here for the day for around about 300 baht, okay? Um, or you can go on the tours that they do, that you do a good, good uh, variety of tours around Bangkok. And they also can arrange you more uh, extreme tours, more uh, adventurous tours in Ho Hin. So, great place. Okay, thank you guys, see you again. Okay, and they speak fantastic English too, okay? <laughs> Which makes your life and my life a lot easier. Okay, so there we go. So, there's so much going on here that is uh, really, really helpful. Uh, lovely, lovely people. You get a lot more information here in a much nicer way and in less of a pushing selling style than you would do on Khao San Road and that's true okay Khao San Road is very pushy and very like competitive where here it's a lot more chill chill okay it's a lot more relaxed and they will give you good 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 information this little place here this little noodle shop uh, some of my Thai friends come here to eat all the time and they work maybe about five kilometers away from here but they jump in a taxi, come down here and have their lunch here. So this little noodle shop here, recommended. It's very, very good. As recommended by Kenny's friends. <laughs> Don't blame me with my friends. Um, so again, you come down here, see more local stuff more interesting stuff as we come along. Oh, I'm gonna get run over, let me stand in. Oh my God, I'm going to die. No, it's a bit you've got to be careful about. Trucks, motorbikes, everything. So be careful. So, here we go. So, this brings you onto Sam Sen Road, and we are on Sam Sen 4, okay? Sam Sen 4. Sam Sam Road is this uh, long road that runs all the way parallel to the river and takes you up and down here. So this is Sam Sen 2, 4, 6 and over there will be 1, 3, 5. That's the way it works. Normally, not 100% of the time, but normally. Okay, so let's go and have a little walk down here. We'll go on to uh, Sam Sen Song 2. And we'll look at some hostels along Sam Sen Road, but then on to Soy 2 as well. And that'll complete our little block around here, okay? So on the main road here, you can see we have another little hostel. And this one, Sam Sen Skyline Hostel. You can see the rooms. And you can see on there, they have a little rooftop party terrace. So I never jump off the terrace. I actually know someone who did that in a hostel once. Not a good idea, okay? So, this is the hostel here. And you see again, it's one of these connected to uh, a massage place too. So let's go and check it out. Um, this always doesn't work, okay? But I have a little theory. The 
closer you get, I'm going to put these on because the sun is very bright today, the closer you get to the main road, the closer you get to a main place, the worse the service gets. It's almost like they think it's a given that you're going to stay there. Where the people down Sam Sam 4, they have to work hard for the money, so you get a really good service there. Um, so this one, eh, well, I don't know, pictures are pictures, pictures are often lie, okay? And that's true, don't always believe a picture that you see on a board, okay? Go and check the room out. Um, it's around about 300 baht, um, but I didn't like it, if I'm being really honest. So, I'd much rather spend my money down on Sam Sen uh, 4 rather than, than here. Hang on, I'm fastening my shoe, but I'm being lazy and not turning my camera off. Okay, so yeah, I, I wouldn't um, necessarily want to stay there uh, because I, I don't really think they're offering uh, a great service. They sort of like um, massage or are they a door, are they a hostel or whatever. I don't think they can make their mind up, so wasn't too keen on that. I've spotted here now uh, this little hostel here and this little hostel here be very nice uh, again it's situated on the main road and the dorm uh, we're talking about here about 200 baht for a dorm so that seems okay and there's a little cafe inside as well so, you know, this place looks a lot better than that other one. The difference in the style, just straight away, trust your own judgment. Go on that gut instinct, okay? There's so much choice here that you don't have to go and stay in a crappy place. Go and stay in a good place, okay? And this looks like a good place. And this little place here, uh, 280, that looks very nice, okay? Um, you, you know, the advantage for some people is the location. Oh, it's right on the main road, and that's what they want. So if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get here. And that could be great for you. Okay, thank you. Cap on cap. That's the uh, owner there. Very nice people. Um, you know, they're doing a good job. Not far from uh, Kaosan Road. If you walk along here, uh, 10 minutes, if that, a stroll. Okay, it's not a big walk. It's just literally, there's a little footbridge there, you go over the footbridge, not footbridge, canal bridge, go over the canal bridge, cross a, a big set of traffic lights, a crossroads intersection, walk along there for about another kilometre and Kaosan Road is on your left side, so it's not far.